Um, personally, I strongly doubt that Logitech ever like updates the G305 or the G303. Um, then again, I am mainly just saying this because I hope in the future I'm wrong so I can be like, ah, I was wrong about Logitech not releasing this. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Boardsy, and as you just saw, I was wrong. I did not think Logitech was ever going to remaster the Logitech G303, but they have. I've been using this mouse for just shy of a week. Um, I made an unboxing video. I have adjusted to this mouse, and I'm just going to give an honest review of it. I'm not really going to bore you with the lore. Here we are with the G303. It is not the exact same as the original G303 shape. It is the Shroud Edition. He, they made it in collaboration with him for his hand. So if you don't have Shroud's hand, are you at a disadvantage? No, because they still allow you to copy Shroud's grip. I haven't seen any reviewers mention this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you see these little crosshairs? That's where Shroud's fingers are. Right? I'm trying to line it up like with my camera. Look at me, Mom. I'm just like Shroud. Um, that's what every kid in America could be saying when they grip this mouse. But getting back on topic, the G303 Shroud Edition is slightly larger, most noticeably wider towards the bottom than the original. I unfortunately seem to have lost my original copy that you saw at the beginning of this video while I was moving so that's really unfortunate that I can't directly compare um, but this mouse if you were used to the original one and you have large hands I think you're gonna be safe but I have seen a lot of smaller people or smaller hand people complaining on various forums and like Twitter about the new edition size so that's something to keep in mind for me personally in my grip style um, it definitely does fit better um, I do have a 20 by 11 centimeter hand and I can basically aggressively or relax claw grip this mouse one thing I've noticed about the shape is I can really control the amount of pressure I want to put very easily because there's just a sort of locked in feeling with how this mouse flares in sharply towards the top um, I feel like I actually appreciate the diamond shape a bit more on the shroud edition than I did in the past um, because the old mouse was just a bit too small for me um, so I want to thank shroud for having large hands making this mouse a bit more suitable for me um, if you play fingertip grip I just wouldn't get it like it just seems like you would be doing yourself such a disadvantage to fingertip grip this mouse um, it does weigh in at 74 75 grams you can remove this thing in the bottom at your own risk um, actually it does get a bit easier the more you do it but the first time I did it it was a bloody scene fuck wait god now I'm like struggling to put it back in um, it saves you like two grams it's really nothing special the weight balancing it's pretty all right on this mouse. I don't know. I don't have anything to say one way or another about it. Feels well balanced, but it's not like blowing my mind like the super light in terms of its weight, um, just because the mouse is a bit heavier in general. They clearly didn't try to make a G303 super light. They just wanted to make a wireless version, and that is a huge change over the original. One of my biggest complaints was the cable, and if you don't have the mouse, you just don't understand. It's an older generation of cable that was just fucking dismal. So having it wireless and I think 12 grams lighter, um, it's very nice for sure the well-balanced 75 gram weight doesn't bother me at all but this mouse just felt a bit slow to move around in general I think one of those re one of the reasons for that um, were the stock feet which are just very large a ton of surface area um, so they just do have higher dynamic friction when moving it around it's very noticeable and of course that is a preference thing but I'm just letting you know that on all of the pads I tested this mouse felt pretty slow with the stock skates and if you're used to aftermarket feet you'll probably prefer those when they are made available but it was by no means unusable with these stock skates uh, but there was a break-in period for a first day or two they were just nowhere near as smooth then they broke in and it was all right now I'm going to talk about the buttons using the same Omron 20M switches as the Superlight had, so you are not going to have any issues with double-clicking. Anytime I talk about Logitech, people are like, ah, oh, does it double-click? No, not anymore. Um, but yeah, you can see from this angle, it's pretty good how insane the tensioning is. There's just not a single like quality issue with the click tensioning 
mouse one and two feel identical they feel snappy no issues with spamming it's just logitech clicks basically the industry standard except omron the side buttons are also very good you can see how well they line up with my thumb they're easily spammable perfectly tensioned i have no issues with hitting them while aiming and maintaining a solid grip of the mouse um, so that's something good to mention i don't remember but i feel like i had some small issue with the original g303 whatever no longer present um getting sort of off topic but this mouse is 130 dollars. if you're watching this video the first day or two it goes live it still is on a black friday cyber monday so i think 20 dollars off when you put it in your cart and i would say that is the time to buy it because $130 for this mouse, it does seem a bit steep. There is obviously a shroud tax associated with it, um, but I don't want to call it a gimmick, but it seems more like a mouse just for people who had the old G303 and want a generally upgraded version. Uh, I'm sure there are going to be some cries about the size changes, but it was much more suitable for me, and slightly rounding off some of the corners also made the mouse a bit more comfortable so I think Logitech did make a slightly safer mouse it's obviously a big meme with Logitech making safe shapes but this shape is by no means safe it still is suited why do I keep saying suited so much it's made for one grip style only which is claw grip and depending on your hand size you might only be able to do an aggressive claw grip which you might just fucking hate um, or some people say it gives them wrist pain but I don't know I, I would just blame the wrists in that case I'm just kidding don't get mad at me for like somehow being ableist uh this mouse does have a dpi button that's wonderful i love having a dpi button look at me just switching dpi on the fly um there is this little led indicator up here for dpi and i think battery level oh yeah battery level this shit has gone down 20 percent in six days of use so it's pretty good battery life it came at 48 and at the time of recording it's at 28 and that is with like decent use per day not like fucking 12 hours or anything degenerate i would presume most people will be able to get around a month if not more of battery life similar to the super light i don't see how they could have optimized the battery life more than the super light when neither of them have rgb but that's exceptional battery life nothing to complain about but hey even when you do have to charge it oh my god that is a USB-C cable please come in frame um, well you can see the USB-C port god bless Logitech leave a like for that um, they finally have USB-C instead of the dirty bad disgusting micro USB port um, so that's truly beautiful the mouse could get the seal of approval for that alone um, but wait I still have some things to cover like the scroll wheel um, which is extremely smoothed out similar to the original edition I don't really care that they didn't change this it just feels average though and the steps are very like well defined it's like not a rigid wheel but it sounds kind of old-fashioned in a sense I don't think I mentioned the general build of the mouse because it kind of goes without saying with Logitech that it is going to be a solid feeling product they don't do any holes and they do prioritize a solid feeling regardless of the weight on their mice that's obviously a good thing the coating on this mouse you see it's like this sort of translucent in the same way that the xm1r's coating is it feels fine it's not like a rubbery matte coating um, but it is definitely grippy especially on the clicks and once again nothing to really complain about one minor complaint i do have though is that when you slam the mouse down you can feel the vibration and when you're readjusting and you feel it just feels awkward it doesn't really ruin your experience but it's a minor issue worth pointing out i think that really covers it in terms of features i didn't go too into detail about the shape i figure most people know about the g303 by now um, but i'll do some fucking advanced b-roll techniques right here so you can see some of the angles but yeah i'm not going to be giving the g303 shroud edition the seal of approval i can acknowledge that it's one of the most unique mice on the market um, but personally i just don't see it being one of the best um, i didn't mention it the, it has the hero 25k sensor it's so good that you don't really need to mention it sensor position is a bit low and the lod felt a bit low in comparison to the super light but those are minor nitpicks that have not really caused me any issues and ultimately the hero 25k sensor it fell up to par performance wise in every in-game scenario it was tested in 
Um, but yeah, this mouse just didn't really blow me away. It doesn't have the weight of the super light or the general ease to recommend it to a wide variety of people. Um, but if you've had the G303 in the past and you're looking for a revamped version, or if you just play an extremely aggressive claw grip and this mouse shape looks appealing to you, um, that's where I would say to buy the mouse. But for most people, it's a drop that you can probably just afford to ignore. But yeah, I think the biggest thing that this mouse shows us is that Logitech has the ability to bring back old shapes if they can attach a popular name to it. So now we just need to find some other people. Maybe we'll get a G703 Superlight. I don't know, um, but it's looking promising for the future, even though I probably won't come back to this mouse very much. So that's going to be all for the review. Um, wasn't the greatest mouse of all time for me, but it is for Shroud, and Shroud is more of a man than I am. So I take that for what it's worth. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and peace.